Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. Um, so today's landscape a painting, a little bit different, um, or at least the paper that I'm using is a bit different. So this is a handmade paper from India. Um, it's marketed as a sort of eco product, sort of ecologically sound product. Um, and the reason is it's recycled. It's, it's actually made from old t-shirts. So it is 100% cotton, but it's just it's, it's recycled cotton, if you like. It's actually it's not a a bad paper. It's quite a, a decent paper to work with. It's sort of mid quality and mid price. So okay, it's not as good as say you know the top like Arsha's paper or something. But but then again, it's not as expensive as that either. Uh, the paper that I'm using is a rough surface and it is quite a rough surface it's fine for the sort of impressionist stuff that i do um, if you prefer to do more detailed work this sort of very rough surface isn't really going to work for you i don't think it would be hard to add in small details on such a rough surface um, at the beginning of the month i sort of set myself some goals that i wanted to achieve one of those goals was to try and put out 12 YouTube videos during November. Um, that hasn't quite worked out. I came close. I think it's about nine or 10 um, I'll manage by the end of the month. Uh, there's a few days to go. So um, It's just when you're trying to write a book, create an online course, um, work with social media, uh, things like Instagram and Facebook and the YouTube, and trying to teach myself soft pastels and trying to do the watercolor stuff and so on and so on uh, at the end something has to give and in this case youtube just had to give sort of thing i put more emphasis on trying to do the make some progress with the book the book is special to me because sort of being a bit dyslexic and you know trying to cope with that through life and things it writing a book is it's kind of, kind of a special thing i guess it's a special thing for anybody because it is a big thing it's certainly not a, a five minute job to write a book so it's coming along it's not as it's coming along a lot slower than i hoped it would but it is making progress and that's the main thing um maybe the biggest thing i've done this month is to finish the online course and get that up onto Udemy and thank you for everybody who has already signed up to that course um, it really does mean a lot you know when people get to use the course and things um, I leave a link below if anybody's interested um, I chose Udemy as the platform if you're not familiar with it it's one of several well-known online platforms that you can create online courses upload it to the platform and make them available to people and like I said I chose Udemy um, Udemy does offer a 30 day sort of no questions asked guarantee money back guarantee so if you don't like the course or anybody's course you can always get your money back it's always worth signing up to Udemy creating an account because sometimes there are also free courses and things um, that you can take advantage of and you know, so it, it doesn't cost you anything to create an account, as far as I remember, with Udemy. And as I said, this month I'm also trying something new. I'm trying to teach myself to paint or draw. I'm still not sure which word to use, which verb to use with pastels, but... Whichever one it is, I'm trying to teach myself to do it. And if you saw my last video, you'll see my first sort of attempt at creating a soft pastel painting. Um, I have done one of those this week, so I'm planning on uploading another YouTube video on Saturday. Just to update what I've been doing with that. I've also created a, a page on my website that I'll try to update regularly. Um, the stuff I'm doing with the soft pastels. 
So again, I'll try to leave a link below for that if you're interested. So far, one thing I have discovered about soft pastels, they have one thing in common with watercolor, I think. So with watercolor, it, the paper that you choose to use can really affect the final um, painting that you get. And I think the same is true with the soft pastels. Um, and again, like the watercolor, unfortunately, the more expensive papers seem to be easier to work with and produce better results. Okay, well, this is today's final painting. It's a very simple one. It's quite abstract, but I quite like it. The sky, uh, the sky is not as much as I wanted, but overall, I'm happy enough with the painting. Okay, if you'd like to subscribe, just click on the big red button below and hopefully see you in the next video.